Hello and welcome to another AIC video. A uh, couple months ago I did a review on a Lenovo ThinkPad P1 that I got for review uh, from Lenovo. I had it for a little over 30 days to be able to check it out and I absolutely fell in love with the laptop to the point where I decided I had to have my own and it took me a minute uh, and I sold a bunch of my inventory, saved up some money, sold some other stuff and was able to afford my own P1 Gen 7 from ThinkPad or from Lenovo. And I absolutely love this computer. I I think I said in that video, there's a lot of laptops that I review that I enjoy, uh, but very few are good enough to make me go, I'm going to spend all of my money, all of my money on that. Uh, and this one ha had me sold the first time I used it. Um, it's just about perfect. We are going to do one quick upgrade. Uh, I'm going to add a second SSD. I'm uh, just going to go ahead and add a four terabyte uh, silicon powered NVMe drive. Um, I'm going through some family files uh, to clean clean up my NAS, and I want to do that uh, on my laptop directly versus having to do it remotely because I do a lot of work away from the house, and so it makes it a little bit easier for me to copy the data on here, go through it, and then um, replace it on the network drive. So, go ahead and open her up here. So, this is not the exact model that I had for review. There was a couple things that I wanted different with the um, laptop I had uh, for myself. Uh, the big one is the screen. I wanted the 165 hertz refresh screen. Uh, the one I had had just a 60 hertz, but I've had the opportunity to experience some high refresh model uh, laptop screens as well as desktop monitors and it makes a pretty big difference obviously for things like gaming but like even doing I've been doing a lot of uh, 3d modeling for uh, I got a 3d printer for Christmas for my son and when I say for my son really for me and um, so I've been doing some 3d modeling and stuff for that and it uh it, it just it things just run smoother things look smoother when editing video it just looks so much better so i wanted the uh better screen for this it's covered in all the lenovo stickers yeah you won't avoid your warranty by the way don't worry about that um the other difference that i got from for this that i was very nervous about was the i got a core uh, core ultra 9 9 Ultra, whatever it is. I got the 9. <laughs> um, I was nervous about that because I was afraid of the additional heat. Uh, it's a much faster processor. It's a much higher, it's a higher wattage processor, I believe, from the Core Ultra 7. And so I was nervous about it creating too much heat and the fans just always being on. And uh, I don't have that. It's not an issue for me. I have read some people having issues but I think that has to do with the fact that maybe some of these didn't have the liquid metal applied quite correctly on earlier models. Um, you see right there, liquid metal, uh, TM is applied. Uh, and so not gonna remove this. Uh, normally I repaste these every couple years. That's not gonna happen with this. I don't think you have to replace thermal, me uh, thermal metal unless you're somehow uh, replacing um, the cooling system have to reapply. So, uh, yeah, it uh, it run mine runs cool, runs quiet. Um, I don't have any issues with uh, heat or with fan noise. Not a problem at all. Get this on there, and so that was that was, that made me nervous was buying the um, higher wattage um, CPU. The other thing I did is my last one had the uh, RTX. Uh, 1000 ADA GPU with six gigs of RAM, uh, graphics RAM. And I wanted the RTX oh, 4070. It has eight gigs of RAM, a little bit better of the GPU. Um, and I don't do like CAD, so I don't need the certifications and stuff for that. But I wanted longer compatibility. So with other laptops I have, uh, I mentioned a lot, but it, it is one of my favorite laptops that I've ever owned is my uh, HP ZBook uh, 14. My, the one I have is a Gen 2. And it's AMD Fire Pro 
being a business class laptop GPU, uh, has received almost no continuous support. The last drivers were updated in um, 20, or excuse me, 2015, from 2015. So that's 10 year old GPU drivers. Um, with the more mainstream drivers that are, or graphics card in here, I'm hoping that the uh, drivers will be supported a lot longer than they have been on other uh, laptops I've had with dedicated graphics cards. So that obviously that's not a guarantee, uh, just a hope that I have, but you know, we'll see if that's the case down the line. All right, let's go ahead and boot her up as, as easy as that. I have my fan here. I'll put this in the video description uh, to blow it out, but it didn't look d dusty in there at all. Uh, my house is pretty dusty. I live in the desert on farmland and got goats and stuff, so it gets pretty dusty at my house. So I, I tend to dust my computers a lot, and that's why I switched over to this versus canned air because I felt like I was going through canned air like crazy. Uh, we have the Windows Hello on here. We have the centered keyboard. Uh, this is a great keyboard. It is a pleasure to type on. Uh, trackpad is big, but not obnoxiously so. All right, we're logged in. Let's see. All right. Go ahead and configure that disk. New simple volume. All right, so we now have that drive set up, but I just wanted to show you real quick. Um, this is just the quick Creality Slicer software here. Um, I've been mostly doing this on my desktop for now. Um, I'm, that's one reason why I have been putting in the bigger drive on here so I can have more space uh, for stuff like this as well. Um, I have uh, 16 terabytes of available storage on my desktop, so not really a fair comparison there. Um, when you have um, several rated drives. Uh, but the SSD should be a lot faster. As far as battery life goes on this, I get at least four to six hours of battery life on here. Um, I do tend to put it in, when I'm using my battery, I'll throw it into battery saver mode just because it's so fast that um, I don't even, you know, I don't notice being slowed down at all. And so for like this, we'll go ahead and slice it. We go to preview, and there's just something about a higher ref refresh rate screen that uh, just makes these animations uh, so much smoother and cleaner than on a 60 hertz. I, it, I don't know how to explain it um, until you experience it in person, but go ahead and bring up settings here. So yeah, we have the Core Ultra 9 18 uh, 185H. We have the 32 gigs of RAM, um, which is sufficient for my needs. And we go to Device Manager. We have the RTX 4070 uh, as for for the GPU. So yeah, that is my personal. P1 Gen 7. Um, if you have any questions about it or, or anything specific you'd like to know about it, I will have this long term because, again, it is mine. I don't have to send this back after 30 days. Uh, so, yeah, go ahead and leave that down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you have an amazing day.